morning. Hello. Hi, class. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi, Marlon. How are you? Good, good. All right. Hi, Luis. Hi, Leah. Gabriel. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I see Lucia, too. <laughs> Leah, that is your name, Leah, L-E-A? We can't hear you. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, while Leah comes back, let's see, we have Gabriela, we have Beatrice, we have Lucia, we have Sophia, Evelyn Beltran. Hello, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn, are you there? Hi, yes, Hi. I'm here. You know, your last name is Beltran, right? Yes, it's Beltran. Um, I always have a problem with that name because my last name is Baltrons with an A, Baltrons with an S. So every time, really, yeah. So every time people always put David Beltran, and I have it's not Beltran, it's Baltrons, Baltrons, Baltrons. So they always put me Beltran. <laughs> yeah. One time they put me Botran. Yeah. Why? That's good. Hey. Botran. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know. Yeah. Guatemala. Yeah, Guatemala. Guatemala. Sometimes, sometimes the people That's ask nice. me if I am family with to Toby Beltran. Oh but yeah. He is not Beltran. He's Bertrand. Bertrand. He's Bertrand. Bertrand. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. But now. Right. Do you know that those names come from Russia? Really? No, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. One well, because at least my name Baltrons. One time, <clears throat> I was reading the story about that. And, and it's true because if you notice all the names of Russian names, you know, Petrov, <laughs> Potran, they have that strong, the strong name. It's similar. Uh -huh. It's Mirnov. It's Mirnov. <laughs> uh, I think it, it was like, I don't know what happened in Russia in that time. And many people emigrated to, to different parts of Europe. And a lot of, a lot of people emigrated to Spain. Mm -hmm. So, for example, my mother's, my my grandmother and my grandfather, they are from Catalonia. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. But their mother and their father were from Russia. So that that's where the, uh, yeah. the, the history comes from. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so I, I, I hear the, the last neighbor trying in Spain. But... Bal Baltrons. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, my, they say Baltrons in Spain is like uh, Hernandez, Lopez. Yes. Yeah. Martinez. Martinez. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gabriela Martinez, how are you? Hello. Hi. Well, with the little um, rain. Frito. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, huh? Very it's cold. cold. But it's beautiful, yes or no? It's, the, the weather is nice. Yes. Yeah. But I only want to be in the bed. <laughs> yeah, all day. This is yeah. the bad for the for, for this weather. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Hi Sandra Karina. Hi, um hold on, excuse me. I see Leah trying to talk, but Leah, if you can hear, we can't hear you. No, teacher, I I problem in the uh, in the 
a plataforma en, en, okay. en internet y, y resuelto. Tú, ok. Today, resuelto. Ok. No problem. No, but also I see, I don't know if the rest of the class, you can see Leah Campos. She's trying to talk to us and we can't, I can't hear her. Can you hear her? No. Okay. Okay. No, no, teacher. Neither. No. Yeah, pobrecita, la veo, like, giving us this big explanation. All right. Hello, Melvin. Good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Mr. Good evening. Mr. DLC, distribuidora de lubricantes y carbo, carbo something. Carbohidrato, carbohidratos. No, it's not carbohidratos. <laughs> carbo what? Combustible. Combustible. Combustible, yes. Man, I'm always going to forget that. Edwin Ayala, the bodyguard. Hey, teacher, how are you? I'm okay, good. And you? Um, very good. Thank you for asking, teacher. All right. And I think um, you are in your daughter's room, correct? Uh, no. Um, all, all, almost in my daughter's room. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, I see behind. Yeah, she's right here right now next to me. She, okay. Yeah, she, it's because she likes English and, and she likes to hear us speaking oh, that's good. English. That's mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Oh, there's Juan, there's Sofia. Okay, let's start. So class, remember yesterday we did the first part of can, could, and would, correct? There's mm -hmm. Lou. I see Lou now. I see Irene, Victor. All right. So remember yesterday we did can, could, and would. would. I think we stopped in would. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. There can you, you. Hear me? Now we can hear you, Leah. Thank you. Okay, cool. So I asked you, is that, is that your name, Leah, L-E-A? Yes, uh, my name is Leah, L-E-A. Oh, I, I like that name. I like me too. It's, I like me, I, me too. <laughs> when my wife was pregnant, I, I don't know, seven, eight months in the ultra, it was a girl. So um, we imagined it was going to be a girl. So I was thinking of a name, Liana. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, so I was thinking, wow, Liana or Zoe, Zoe, you know, Liana, Leah, Leah, Leah. So I was happy. I, I even imagined like, oh, Leah, Leah. <laughs> but then like I'm eight, when after the eight months, the doctor said, no, it's a boy. And I was, what? I mean, I was mm -hmm. happy. I was happy because I Leo. wanted a <laughs> Leo. <laughs> yeah, but Lionel Messi. Pero no me dejó mi esposa. Yeah. No, but <laughs> believe me, lo pensé. <laughs> oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> no, si toda la paja le di, no, no, no se la tragó. <laughs> you know, um, there's a band, the band's name is Pearl Jam. I don't know if you know that band, Pearl Jam. Una banda de rock, Pearl Jam, y el cantante se llama Eddie Vedder. And I really love that band. Entonces le dije a mi esposa, le podemos poner Eddie Verto. <laughs> Pero tampoco me batió. No like. No. No like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So remember yesterday we were doing can, could, and would. Luis, can you tell me the meaning of can, please? Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Uh, I can use uh, to, to away. Uh, okay. An ability and permission or request. Very good. Can you give me an example using um, the ability? Yeah. Uh, can can I close the door? Can you please close the door? That's an ability? Maybe, but that may be the first. <laughs> or can you- For me, uh, that sounds like a suggestion. Suggestion, an ability. Yeah, give me, uh, give me a can as an ability. Can, can you hit uh, the balloon, please? Can you run fast? 
Can you run fast? All right. I'm sorry. I can cook. I can, I can play soccer. Very good. I can play soccer. I can cook. I can dance. All right. I can and, swim. Okay. And Luis, can you give me an example with can as a permission? Uh, can you please open the door? Can you please open the door? All right. So Edwin, Edwin, I think you were not in the class yesterday, correct? Co that's correct, teacher. It's because I was I was doing something else and I came late to my house. Okay, yeah, no problem. Thank you. And uh, okay, so what we were doing well, what we're going to do in the class is how to use the modals with can, could, and would um, to ask for permission. Sounds but great. before before that, we have to understand what they actually mean: can, could, and mm -hmm. would. Yes. yes. So when we use can, mm -hmm. we use can for any ability. Okay. Like, uh, okay. can you drive? Driving is an ability, correct? Correct. Yeah. So people in this case, that's why people say, can you drive? Can you dance? Can you cook? Can you swim? Can you sing? Those are abilities. Yes. Um, Victor, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, Victor, can you give me an example of what is could, the meaning of could? Uh, the past of can. Okay, so it's the exact same definition, mm -hmm. but in past. Correct? Yes. Can you give me an example with could and past? Well, give me an example with could. Okay. I can I can drive. No, with uh, could. No, with cool. Yeah, I can drive, but seven years ago, I couldn't. All right, good. Very good. Uh. Let me see who else is here. Beatriz, hi, are you there? Yes, hi teacher. Hi, Beatriz, can you tell me something you could do before, but now you can't? Um, for example, um, when I was a child, I could see very well, but now I can't see because I have a Vision problem. Okay, good. <laughs> no, no, I understand that happens to everybody. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, no. yeah, when no. I was a child. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to give me another one? Sure, go ahead. Another example. Oh, no, 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 that was a good example. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so next we have would. Lou, can you explain to us what would is? Would is like. Podría sí. Yeah, but okay, good. But give me the example. Remember, what is would? Would. Uh, En español, ¿qué, ¿qué es el wood? ¿Se acuerdan? Podría. Mm. Ia. 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 Ajá, Ia. ¿El que hace todos los verbos Ia? Gustaría. Diría. Ya. Yes. Pero recuerden también que en español uno no puede decir, hey, fíjate que yo comería papas. No puede terminar la oración así. Tiene que haber un complemento, right? una excusa. Si no fueran tan grasosas. Lo mismo en inglés. I would eat French fries if, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Juan Alvarado. How are you, sir? Can you tell me what would you buy with $1 million? 
what would you buy if you had one million dollars? Many things. Like a, <laughs> a house, a new car. Anyway, I, anyway, I want. Okay, I would donate my money to the diputados. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. To the yeah, pobre, pobrecitos, they, they are bad. <laughs> they say that they are poor. Poor people. <laughs> no, you know, if I had one million dollars, I would buy many houses. Because that's that's the best business in El Salvador to rent houses. Real, real estate, real estate. Same. Real estate is a very good business because it's forever. Yes, Leah. What? Uh, wait, Leah. You have a son, a daughter, correct, or a son? I have a son and a girl, a boy right. and a girl. All right. How old is your son? 30 years. He is 30? 30. 30 years old. Really? Well, I imagine you were going to tell me, well, oh, no, he's 11. No, 30. Uh, 30, 13, 13. Oh, 13. 13, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was, you don't look like you have 13. a 30-year-old son. Yes, but I young. <laughs> I'm young. So, no, no, no. 13 years old. 13. And your girl? Uh, 12 years old. Oh, okay. What would you do if you discover your son has a girlfriend? I don't know. Maybe talking with him and say, uh, be careful. Careful. Uh, Mom, it's I normal. Know, mom. Yeah. It's very normal. I really, I, I am afraid. Uh, I, miedo. I would be afraid. I will be afraid. Fair. If he say 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 me, mom, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but you know what? I, I I think about that because now now in this time, you know, anything is possible. So you know, sometimes we ask we ask between parents, you know, what would you do if your son, you know, he likes men, I'm okay, you know, I would I would be I would be okay, like okay. I can't, I can't do anything, but I mean, it's okay. The only thing I would be sad is that if I can't have grandchildren, that's the only question. Can I still have grandchildren? No, that, oh man, because I only have one son only. So I would be sad if no, but you know, <laughs> all right, let me see. Uh, uh, Oh, wait, I asked Sophia yesterday about what would you do if you see your boyfriend talking to a very beautiful woman? <laughs> that yeah. you said nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I don't believe you, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, you know, it, it happens. <laughs> no, are you jealous? No. Mm, no, I, I think no, I'm not yellow. Jealous. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm not jealous. And that's good. I remember one time, but you know, women are very good liars. <laughs> I remember one time I was driving and my wife was next to me. And we stopped. It was right in front of Galerias, the, the traffic light. And there was a group of, I think they were Brazilian or Argentinian tourists, men. But they were very handsome. And they had that body like surfers. And they were in the corner because they wanted to cross the street. 
but and we stopped right in front of them. So my my wife was like, you know, so I was looking at them and I look at my wife like, hmm. and it was funny because my wife was doing this. Yo le digo, ma. <laughs> and she says, what? Oh, yes. You haven't seen those men. ¿Cuál es? Oh, please. <laughs> no los ha visto. No, hasta yo los estoy viendo. No, no me de mentira. <laughs> yeah, so I know that she, you know, because they were very handsome men. <laughs> so, no, I'm not jealous in that. And it's similar to me. When, when I see a very beautiful woman, you know, my wife me dice, ¿sabes qué? Prefiero que la veas. Me asustaría más que no la, había, no la hubiera visto. Well, thank you. Because, you know, like, wow, really? <laughs> so it's a good relation. <laughs> Sandra. Hi. Yeah. Are you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you have children? Yes, I have uh, two daughters. Uh, uh, okay, what would you, I'm sorry, how old are your daughters? Yeah. How old are your daughters? Yeah, um, the first daughter, daughter, 23 years old, and um, second, uh, mm -hmm. 19. Okay. What would you do if your daughter says, Mom, you're going to be a grandma? Uh, oh, she's a mother? No, 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 no. No, but okay, and this is an example, yeah, okay? Yeah. What would you do if your daughter tells you, Mom, good news, what? You're going to be a grandmother. What would you do? Would you get happy? Would you be sad? <laughs> sad maybe two days and then happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have Luis Molina. Okay. So we understand that part of can, could, and would, correct? Okay. Now we're going to do the other part. We're going to watch the video. I'm going to share with you. Please tell me if you can see it. All right, do you see the screen? Yes. 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 yes sir. Good. Hold on, please. All right, I'm going to share this with you. Let me see. Compartition. Okay, let's listen to this. It says request. Now, we're going to do request with wood. Okay, do you know what a request is? Es como pedido. Ask for something. Yes, <laughs> literalmente es una sugerencia. Request. Okay, so let's listen to this request. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind? plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure, model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, 
and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, class, did you hear that? Yes. Okay, so when do when when do we use would you or would you mind? The difference is the year. For more polite. Okay. Hold on, let me share my screen. Okay, now, in this case, can, could, and would is the same when you suggest. Can, could, would. Do you have problems with your neighbors that sometimes they put loud music? Yes. Yeah, I think everybody has that, right? Or they park in front of your house? That's another problem. Okay, good. So in this case, when when you see that, you go to your neighbor's house and you say, excuse me, can you move, the verb will be move, your car, please. Could you move your car, please? Would you move your car, please? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? None. Son iguales. Por eso es que ayer quería, quería que supieran bien la diferencia de can, could y would cuando es, cuando es una habilidad o el significado realmente y hoy cuando se usa para sugerir algo. Okay. So, for example, Lou. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. All right. Um, let me see. Okay, your mother. Oh, yes. You tell me that your mother, what, what is it that you told me about your mother? Your, her shoes. Yes. Okay. Your mother always leaves her shoes everywhere. So what can you do here? Mom? Can, could, would, you, per, the verb, and the complement. Please. It's like, can you uh, move your shoes, please? Very good. Uh-oh. All right, mom, can you move your shoes, please? Okay, so you said, Mom, can 
you move your shoes as the complement, please. All right, Miss Evelyn, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you, Evelyn? Fine. Thanks for asking. All right, cool. Evelyn, um, are you married? No, I'm not. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm not. I'm single. You're single, cool. <laughs> Do you have children? No. <laughs> oh my God, you're perfect. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> Yes, I think so. <laughs> okay, do you have a pretender? Mm. No, no, I no, forget it, forget it. Do you have yes. a best friend? Oh, you have a pretender. Yes. Do you have a best friend? Yes, I have. Okay. Imagine your best you're telling your best friend a problem and your best friend is a he or a she? Um she. <laughs> okay, but when you're talking to your friend, she is looking at her cell phone. She's only doing this, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you and you, you know, that's not that's that's not very nice. So you're telling her your problem and all your best friend is doing, she's looking at her Instagram or chatting. So what do you tell her? Could you please turn off your phone? Okay, good. Very good. So here you said, could you? Aquí me gustó, puso please. You can put please in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. So you said, could you please turn off your phone? Or, hey, could you please look at me? Could you please listen to me? Could you please stop? <laughs> Good. All right, Melvin. Yes. Uh, Melvin, imagine you're in a situation where you don't know what to do, but you're lost, and then you're just following the road, and you have no GPS. So what would you most likely rather do in that case? Would you rather stop and ask somebody, or would you just continue or just call someone and just keep on going? Do you understand? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Esperaba que me dijeras, hey, teacher, you teacher, just repeat it more slowly. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, I just tried to, to, <laughs> to understand all you. No, it's okay, but ahí uno puede decir, excuse me, could you please repeat? Could you please speak uh, more slowly? Or, okay, that that's, that's what you do in when when you tell somebody hey let's speak english hey habla inglés sí yo también hablemos y le van a hablar and you say um, excuse me could you speak slowly please uh, oh okay all right lia campos hello teacher hi lia hi imagine you Imagine you you have a problem with, you went to the supermarket, mm -hmm. yes? And the total of your, of your purchase was $11, yes? And you paid with $100 because you only had $100. But the cashier only returned nine dollars. And you said, excuse me, the bill was 100. No, it was 20. No, it was 100. No, it was 20. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Next. No. <laughs> Man, it was $100. Believe me, can you check? No, I'm not going to help you. What do you do in that situation? Maybe I say, I say here, 
Uh, could you call your boss, please? Very good. Very good. O otra forma. Could I speak with your boss, please? Also, you can say that. Yeah, that was very good, Leah. You can say, excuse me, could you call your boss? Or could I speak with the person in charge? Y siempre dicen la típica, no está. <laughs> oh, really? It's not here, no. How do you say armo relajo en ese mismo momento? <laughs> I make a mess. Ar de Troya en ese mismo momento, how do you say? <laughs> no, I make a scene. I make a fair. No, no, se dice una escena. Scene. I make a scene. Scene, scene. Uh -huh. así se scene. dice. I make a scene. One time I have a situation. I pay my my products and when I look my ticket, I saw um, uh, the the cashier. He 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 was uh, cobrando me. Charging me. Charging. Charging me two times the same product. Okay. And he said, uh, Miss, excuse me. Uh, he, you are wrong because you uh, cobrando me the two times. You, you are charging me double. Charging me double. And he look, and he uh, saw the ticket. Oh, I'm sorry, it's true. Uh, please wait a minute. And in this moment, make a me relajo. I see. Uh, I see. You. Because, no, she, because come, uh, she, she uh, called he, her, her boss, and the line, long line, but, y, eh, tenía volver a abrir la caja. The cashier. Tocar, but, but you know, the tocar, cashier ah. did, did good because the cashier accepted, you know, mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That happened to me one time. The, the example I gave to you that with $100, but it was with $20. And I think I only paid $2 and the person only returned eight. And I said, excuse me, it was a $20 bill. No, it was a 10. No, it was a 20. And I know it was a 20 because it's the only bill I had. And she insisted, no, I'm sorry. Next, please. Oh. No. <laughs> and I said, excuse me, could I please speak with your manager? No está. Oh, okay. I don't think Super Selectos, I think Super Selectos is a very professional company. And every company, they need a manager or somebody in charge. No hay nadie. Oh, God. Well, a and supervisor. A supervisor. What did, you say? Mm -hmm. what did you do? And I said, look. I don't believe you, and I'm not going to leave until I speak with a supervisor. So, excuse me. So I went to the next cashier or an employee. I said, can I, can I speak with your supervisor, please? And yes, hold on. And she called the supervisor. And then the supervisor came and look, this happened. Okay. And yeah, they had to close the line. And then do the recount, but I was there like for 45 minutes or one hour and it was my lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then at the end, when they made all the, all the numbers, yes, it was a 20. Y me dice the, the manager, oh, okay, tome su vuelto, si era de 20. Really, that's it? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, nothing. <laughs> Me quedo una hora aquí tonteando. Todo. Me dice, no, eso quería, pues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I made a, can I speak with your manager, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's, but maybe the cashier said, oh, maybe he, he, he will forget. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Next we have, let me see, Edwin. Yes, sir. Edwin, um, imagine mm -hmm. somebody goes to your house. Mm -hmm. 
they open the door and they say, Edwin, excuse me, I am the police and we need to go to inside your house because we, we need to see the patio of your house because the neighbor has drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not you, not you, the neighbor. Mm -hmm. But maybe the police, they want to go into your house, you know, for a surprise. Okay. What do you tell them? Um, I, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> the situation is very hard, but actually, I will ask you for an order. If, if, exactly. If you how, how would you ask that, that order for that? Uh, could, could you show me the order? Sign it for the judge? Exactly. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. And I will let you. And I will let you let you in if you show me that order. Yes. Yeah. Very good. In a situation like that, me too. I I would say, could you please show me your ID that you're a policeman? Oh, that's another one. Yeah. That's true. yeah or that, that's the first. Or maybe could you please give me two minutes and I would call my lawyer, my cousin. <laughs> and I said, hey, I need your help express in this moment. I have this situation. What what, what should I do? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you, and then I, I'll do that. Could you please give me a warrant that, you know? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Luis Molina. Uh, okay. You are in, in the line and this happens all the time. You are in the line in the supermarket. But yes. the person in front of you is chatting and doesn't see and they don't move. And, and you know, you do the typical. <clears throat> but that person is watching videos. So what would you do? Maybe I, I uh, talk like with with her uh, could you could you please to move the next step of I don't know okay good but, could you please continue uh-huh mm -hmm. okay good could you please continue go ahead could you please to move uh, because this that cashier is ready to to collect the money I don't know <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah. Nice. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Do you work? Where do you work, Sandra? Yes, I work. It's in you. It's okay. Where do you okay. work? I work in Universidad de Salvador. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you a teacher? Yes, I teach her and uh, I have uh, the administration in the um, Oficina Central. Office Central. Oh, wow, good. What do you teach? I administration uh, at the... Oh, okay, 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 I'm sorry. So you teach administration? Yes, yes. I, I have them in the... Um, uh, the work uh, in the, um, I mean, um, in the personal administrative of those, the docentes. Um, and my uh, case is uh, the two administrative uh, uh, teacher. Nice. Okay, good. Wow. Nice. What, 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 imagine you have a student that he you, is the final exam, the final, final exam. And the student didn't come to class. And the next day he tells you, teacher, I am sorry, but yesterday I had a very big accident. I was coming and then blah, 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 blah. But you look at the student and the student is fine. But you know, he tells you he had a big accident. What do you tell him? Is the um, uh, indicate load the student uh, a 
justification for oh, so, yeah, but what, uh, situation. Exactly, but what do you tell them? Can you please, could you please give me? Um, the, uh, it's um, the, the, the late in the class. Will, will you, you, you please lay um, for a traffic? Um, no, yeah, but yeah, but this is what happened. But imagine it's the next day after the exam, and then oh, I'm sorry, teacher, I couldn't come yesterday because I had an accident. So, do you tell? Could you please give me some papers that from the hospital or something? Yeah. Okay. Before something. So you would say that, could you please, uh, could you please, or can you please give me a justification? Okay, could you please, uh-huh. Give me a, a justification, right? Yeah. All right, good. Sofia Escobar, hi. Hi. Um, Sophia, excuse me for my example, but it's important because this really happens frequently. Okay. Unfortunately, pero no debería pasar, pero pasa. What would you do? Or how do you ask if you feel a man is harassing you? A man is what? Harassing you. What is that? I don't know. Harassing is como acosando. Uh, I will run away. <laughs> no, no, but, but, no, wait, wait, but, no, but hay muchas formas de acosar, you know, not, not necessarily, oh, come here, baby. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, like, <laughs> mira, amorcito, hola, mi amor, wow, qué linda se ve, you know, uh, algo que la incomoda, eso es. Mm. I would ask him, uh, oh, I would say to him to, to stop doing that. Okay, could you please stop doing that? Yeah, could you please stop doing that? Good, very good. Yeah, and and like I said, I'm sorry for my example, but it's it, you know this happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, but like in your remember, harassing is not only physically; it can be verbally. Yeah, sure. I imagine in black in the street. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's true. It's true. Yesterday I was yeah, I think it was yesterday or well I was I was in the gas station. Around my house there's a gas station. And and I was a little angry because the car in front of me, the car was going very, very slowly. And I was thinking, man, what the, what's wrong with this person? But I did not want to honk because mm -hmm. my wife and my son were in the car. And you know, maybe it's a crazy person. And what's your problem? And so, and I tell my wife, man, sorry, que le pasa a este. So when he turned, I turned and I went into the gas station. And uh, the problem was that this man, he was following a woman that was walking. When I was in the gas station waiting for the gas, I saw the situation. Okay. Oh. And I told my wife, look, that's the problem. Because the man, he was following that woman, but the woman was walking and looking at her cell phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so the, and the man stopped and he said, uh, excuse me, do you need a ride? <laughs> Imagine. And, and the lady, the woman said, no, thank you. Pero aún como sonriendo, no, gracias, thank you. You know, and the man said, yes, es cierto, because I was listening. <laughs> and the man said, are you sure? You no tengo, para allá voy. Said, no, thank you. But she was very nice. And um, the man was insisting. 
So then the woman, she went inside the gas station, you know, she pretended to buy, to buy um, a soda or something. And I told my wife, what would you do in that situation? She says, immediately, I would take videos and picture of that man and call the police. You know, so that man was harassing the woman. Yeah. Yo, que feo, que feo, man. Pobrecito, son. que feo ser mujer a veces en ese sentido. Yeah. The Pero same también... thing happened to a friend. She was like 13 years old when that 13. happened. 13? Yeah. Oh, man. Can you imagine that man, how sick to be driving <laughs> and <laughs> Do you want to write? Do you want to write? Yes. I see that case uh, like before before it started the pandemic. Yes. But I see I see how the man the man showed a lot of money for to the girl. Oh man, what did the girl do? Nothing. She. She used to uh, walk, some start to walk. Okay. Yeah, I, maybe it's the best, it's the best option. Mm -hmm. But in, in that case, in what I saw, the woman was very nice. Can you imagine this man, this stranger? Do you want to ride? No, thank you. But she was smiling. Come on, la llevo. No, muchas gracias. Thank you. It's yes. like, don't do that. Say, hey, no, leave me alone, or I will call the police, or immediately call the police. That man, boom. In our yeah. culture, we uh, normalize the that things, and that's not good. Yes, you know, um, I work in, I work in Talos. And it's it's very it's very I, in how can I say it's very strict. No, not very strict. But now anything anything is molestation or or harassing uh, because you know. A formal, a formal company, your boss, he cannot tell you, hola, Linda, you know, that's harassing. Uh, and maybe, and maybe, son de, lo, de la vieja escuela, quizás realmente ni lo está haciendo con mala intención, como, hola, Linda, pero, and you know, but now, people get offended, like, oh, oh my God, and, and I feel harassed by my boss. Why? Because me dijo, hola, Linda, y la ley, la ley, como, hey, yes, that's harassed. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry? Telus is a, a call center, right? Yes, it's a call center. What, what, what do you do when Chinese people call you? Do you understand to Chinese people? Oh, no, it's very difficult. Chinese and Indian people is, is very difficult to understand them. And black people. Mm, I think black people is, is like street English. Yeah, yeah, very street English, yes. Mm, yeah, but you know, now call centers are becoming, um, it's very strange because there's a lot of, um, Like, um, I remember one time I had a problem because, I, no, I didn't have a problem, but somebody in my team had a problem because there was a, a, a man in that, he's a boy, but now he's a woman, you know, and Okay, it's it's okay, it's no problem. But it's very strange because 
he dresses like a woman and he wants people to say he's a woman. Okay. But sometimes it's very difficult and you forget and you say he, él, él. And, you know, he gets angry. No, soy él, estupido. Que no ves que soy mujer. I'm, oh, I'm, so bad. I'm sorry, I forget. <laughs> no, it didn't happen to me, but it happened to my friend. And, um, but the problem was that my friend got in trouble, not, not the transvestite mm -hmm. person. And my friend says, but look, his name is Douglas, <laughs> you know, and, and, and maybe in the chat, it, but if it's a lot of money, you know, and, then, and that person was very offended porque le dijo he by accident. And he reported it, you know, oh, I feel harassed because he called me he and I'm a she. Y, pero se hizo un gran relajo porque se fue hasta el ministerio del no sé qué. Porque uno decía legalmente, él es, oh, you know, this big mess. Se está haciendo un gran relajo hoy, la, la ley es. Entonces eso me mentalizo, she, 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 she. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y por eso le digo a Sofía, hoy, hoy no todo era como antes, o sea, como, oh, mi amor, vení, qué linda sos, porque no, no, no. Now, cualquier cosa puede ser harassment. Así se escribe, harass. Incluso de hombre a hombre, mujer a mujer. Es, es, so, cuando young people, when you start to work, be careful. Mm -hmm. But all depend the core value of the company, right? No, yeah, yeah, but the values internal, of the company, the, the, the values of the company, they're very respectful. Like, no, we respect yeah. everyone. And, and it's good. It's very good. Yeah. But, but I tell my boss, hey, jefe, y cuando uno venga y diga que es un gato, ¿qué hacemos? You know, we have to say, uh, meow, meow, mish, mish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we have to respect that, mish. Hay que respetar, si dice que gato, gato, okay, cool. <laughs> ya se está dando en Estados Unidos, creo. Ya han visto gente que, que quieren cambiar su género. Hay un señor que se cree perro. No, hay comunidades ya y, y que es viven como... Es asqueroso ver el video, es súper un perro. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. Ay, no, sí, es súper loco. But it's interesting because uno aprende a respetar más, you know, you respect. But do, but do you say eh, eh, trastornos psiquiátricos? Psiquiátricos, trastornos. Those, yeah, there could be like a psych, psych, um, psychiatric problems. Mm -hmm. But you Can know what? One, that? one time I had a problem because one time I had a class and I saw this man come in, but he was a man, but he was more a woman than a man. He painted his nails, he had makeup and everything, but he dressed like a man. And, um, and I remembered because, okay, good. In that time, it was physical, the class. Okay, very good, Sandra. Sandra, ask him, her, him. Oh, man. So in the break, I said, Carlos, yes, please stay one second. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Carlos. I'm really sorry. Excuse me. How do I treat you, he or she? <laughs> He, no teacher, si se puede, she, no, it's okay, you want she, is no problem, she, okay, después todo el resto, después ya era she, you know, okay, good, ask her, all right, so what is your name then, Perla, okay, no, so your name is Perla, <laughs> then it's Carlos, so yeah, I think, ese es el respeto que uno hay, hay que hacer, porque, I work, I work in Isdemo, Isdemo, Isdemo. Huh? uh huh, in Isdemo, in there, uh, work uh, transgender. Transgender. People okay. transgender. And sometimes I working with a, a man that with look the woman, or vice okay. versa, or vice versa. Vice versa, okay. And vice versa. And I I learned to uh, respect this. All. No, you know, and I will teach my son because I have I have 
gay family. My best friend is gay. And I will teach my son that you have to respect everything because mm -hmm. nothing's going to change. You know, you have to accept everybody and everything. And, and that's what I like. Call centers, lo están haciendo, the call centers. How do you say transvestidos? Transvestite. Aquí there are many people. Yes, there are aquí many le, people. Aquí le va un dato curioso. Ustedes saben que es drag. Drag queen. What is drag queen, Lucia? It depends. I saw a program uh, with that. RuPaul. Yes, I love <laughs> yeah. Um They um, uh, enseñó. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot about uh, the people of the uh, group of people. Yeah, okay. Uh, pero la palabra drag yes. is a man that dresses like, like a woman. woman. Yes. Pero lo interesante de la palabra drag is D R A G. Mm -hmm. And that comes from Shakespeare. Yes, yes. Yeah. When Shakespeare, las obras, obras en inglés se dicen play. So when people went to the, to the, um, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, theater? To the theater to watch plays. Remember, women could not be part of plays. So if it was a woman part, a man had to dress like a woman. Y de ahí salía drag, que sería dress. Yes, like a woman. Uh, dress rearrange for a gentleman. Yes. Un vestido arreglado para un caballero. Drag. Y eso era un drag. It was interesting. It was very interesting. Imagínese, venía este tiempo de Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. All right. So very good, Sofía. So if you feel somebody is harassing, you say, can you please stop talking to me like that? Can you please don't look at me like that? Can you please keep your distance? Yes. Um, Marlon, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. Imagine it's one in the morning and your neighbor is listening to Marco Antonio Solis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you need to sleep. So what do you do? Uh, yeah. Well, no, but, will you um, please turn off the volume, please? Okay, good. Could you please, well, turn off or turn down? T turn down, turn down. Mm -hmm. All right. Turn down to the listing. Okay, very good, very good. Um, Evelyn, oh yeah, we already asked Evelyn, Victor, Irene, are you there, Irene? Yes. How are you, Irene? Hi. Irene, you're single too, correct? Yes. And you don't have a boyfriend? Yeah, I have a boyfriend. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Yes. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to give you an example, okay? You, here you have to imagine. Where does your boyfriend work? Uh, with me at TELUS. Oh, really? Yes. You work in TELUS? Oh, yes. You're in the IT, right? Yes. Oh, I'm in Google. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you, are you, okay. Uh... Irene, what would you tell your boyfriend if he talks too much to his beautiful coworker? <laughs> I'm the beautiful coworker already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but imagine like, hey, but it's not yeah. his fault because she, she, but she's extremely beautiful and he's always talking to her. Okay, I will say it. Uh, hey, kill. Could you please talk with her? Could you please talk to her? 
stop talking with her. Oh, okay. But but why I can't? She sits next to me. <laughs> because it's bothering me. Okay. Oh, you can say, can you please pretend? <laughs> Pretend yeah. not to talk to her? No, okay. <laughs> no, it happens. No, okay, good. Okay, and that's how you ask can, could, and would. Can you, could you, would you? All right? Um, yeah. And the next, the next part is would you mind? Mm -hmm. What is would you mind? First of all, what is mind? Would you mind? Importaría. Importaría. Aquí literalmente están preguntando, ¿te importaría? Would you mind? Store? This is something I really, really hate because when we finish work with my wife and my son, okay, do we need to go to the store? Do we need anything from the store? No, no. Are you sure? No. Okay, let's go. And when we're in the house and my wife is cooking, David, what? Would you mind going to the store and buying? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It happens, you know. Would you mind going to the store and buying bread or buying sugar or buying salt? And I said, I asked you before. <laughs> Pero si se dice, would you mind? But the only difference, class, is that here we use the verb with ing. Okay. For example, Victor, if you are in a public restaurant yes yes and somebody the, the table next to you is smoking somebody is smoking what would you tell them could you give me one? would you mind giving me one no okay okay no but yeah this is possible Okay, entonces ahí se dice, would you mind giving me fire. me? Ah, ¿Sabe qué, Luis? No se dice, give me fire, se dice, give me a light. Give me a light. Okay. Dame una luz. Uh -huh. Tiene más lógica en español, me da fuego, pero no, en inglés es give me a light. <laughs> okay. Porque se oye claro, si, can you give me fire? What? You want, <laughs> you want fire? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Victor, in this case, salió campeón Victor, dijo, would you mind giving me one? <laughs> <laughs> Pero así es, would you mind, and then the verb with ing, excuse me, yes. Uh, would you mind giving me one? Oh, sure, ma. Okay, Evelyn, what would you do? Mm, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Really, it oh, doesn't bother you. Like... You're okay eating, and the next, and the person next to you smoking. Ah, okay. No, I tell the person, would you mind? I don't know how to say apagar el cigarro. ¿Cómo se dice apagar la luz? Uh, turn off. Okay, that's how you say a cigarette. Ah, okay. Would you mind uh, turn off? Turning off. I don't know. It's, it's correct. Your cigarette your cigarette okay so you said turn off put off mm -hmm, good put off. but uh, and when i when i used to uh, uh, ing in this in this case yes would you mind turning off in a verbo ah, okay. would you mind putting off your cigarette please would you mind smoking outside please Okay. Y si le dicen, yes, I mind. Oh, excuse me. This is a public place. 
yo gano. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Because yes. you, you can't smoke in a... Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Gabriela. If... Yes. Imagine you're going to... San, have you ever gone to San Miguel in the super special buses? Mm, yes, many years ago. Yeah, they're nice, huh, those buses? Yes. Yo no entiendo cómo alguien puede pagar un taxi para ir a San Miguel pudiendo ir en esos buses. Son como avión. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But imagine the person next to you talks and talks and talks on the phone and you want to sleep. And, ah, <laughs> you know, and you're, oh, God, what do you say? <laughs> Would you mind stopping to talk me, please? Would you mind stopping or would you mind talking lower? Lower. Please. Teacher, teacher. Yes. In that case, in that case, I could say, would you mind be quiet, please? No, in that case, would you mind no? In that case, it must um can you be quiet, please? Do un solo. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Can you be... Yeah. Not polite. Uh-huh. Doing solo. Okay. Can you be quiet? Can you shut up? <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Uh Lucia, Lou, imagine you're in the movies and the person next to you is extremely tall. Or or no, the person next to you has a stupid hat. You know, like the Pharrell. Yes. Chain, chain the seat. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's full. It's, ah, it's, okay. the, the theater is full. But no, porque si es alto el pobre, no, no es culpa de él. <laughs> but no, but imagine the person in front of you has a big hat and you, you can't see. Uh, what would you say? Uh, would you mind uh, get, getting off your hat? Taking off your hat. Taking off your hat. Very good. Yes, you, you the hats you take off. Very good. And that, that's how you ask. All right. Okay, class. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow with more situations, okay? Okay. Okay. I have a good day. I hope. Well, have a good night. Good I hope night. You have a good cup of coffee right now. Yeah. Get a good blanket and go to sleep. Good night. Okay, good, good night, night. everybody. Good night, good night. class. Bye-bye. Yeah, tomorrow, bye. Tomorrow.